Well, I'll go back to the positive side. Well, we always talk about giving back, and that's exactly what Barrett Jackson and the Craig Jackson Foundation does. They want to go out and make a difference. And recently, Gary Bennett of Barrett Jackson, Richard Petty, and a whole lot of others went out to Phoenix International Raceway to make a difference for people in wheelchairs. One of the things I wanted to say is that we all take walking for granted. Every day we get up and get out of bed and don't think about the fact that we can walk. And, and you've done, you can't because of a tragic accident. And you're doing so much good today because of the effort that, that you put forward. And we, we're so proud to be part of that with you. But I just want you to know we never forget how important you are and what an important part of our family you are. And, and God bless you, buddy. You're a brother. I mean that. It's because of support from you guys and the entire racing community that motivates me to be able to do that. So it's really, uh, I'm going to put it back on you guys. If the support wasn't there, we wouldn't be able to do this. The support will always be here, buddy. You know, we talk about giving back, and that's what Barrett Jackson and the Craig Jackson Foundation want to do. You know, we take walking for granted, and when you see a piece like that, it grabs you right inside. But here at Barrett Jackson, they're going to take this replica race car, and they're going to put it on the auction block and take the proceeds to help everybody in a wheelchair. That's the excitement of Barrett Jackson. I am humbled, everybody, to be in the presence of Lynn Wood, Richard Petty, and Daryl Gwynn. What, what an amazing group of people, and everything that Barrett Jackson does couldn't happen if it weren't for the efforts of, of, of the, sin, the synergy of people just like this. We're so fortunate. We, we've raised $37 million in the last several years for charity, and Daryl has been the beneficiary of some of those funds, and we couldn't be prouder. He is truly part of the Barrett Jackson family. And I just want to thank all of you for what you do. And I have some news for Daryl. I just got a call from Steve Davis, our president. This is going to be lot number 962. It's going to be sold Friday afternoon on speed television around 4 o'clock. Awesome. Gary, obviously, Barry Jackson gives away, I, I want to say zillions of dollars, because that's really what, more of what it's about. But it seems like you guys never get the recognition and nobody ever seems to know behind the scenes what you guys are really all about. It's just not about a car auction and selling cars. It's, it's not, it is a lot more than just selling cars and we're so fortunate to have, have people like Daryl Gwynn in our lives as a member of our family and then our customers, our, our bidders and our consigners are so generous and so, so giving when it comes to these charity cars that we offer. I mean, the cars that we've sold, we've sold them for hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars, and clearly the cars aren't worth that. It's about the charity and, and who's going to benefit from that. I mean, Daryl's given away a number of wheelchairs on our auction block to, to children and young adults who wouldn't. You and I take walking for granted, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, if you can imagine having that taken away from you, it is so wonderful for us to be able to do that. And, and Barrett Jackson wouldn't exist if it weren't for our customers, and people like Daryl Gwynn that give us this opportunity. Gary, share with us uh, the relationship that you've had with Richard Petty over the years. Well, Richard and I have known each other for a number of years, and we've been fortunate enough, actually blessed would be a word I think would be appropriate, to work together. We've raised some money for Victory Junction. We've raised some money for the Richard Petty Foundation. And, and, and we work so hard doing what we do. These events are not easy. It looks easy when you watch it on television. And we, yet the team of Barry Jackson works so hard to put it on. It's this thing, this kind of thing these charitable part of Barrett Jackson that makes us want to keep doing it because it's the part where we get a chance to give something back and we couldn't be prouder of how we do that and the way that happens. How did this car come about? Well actually Daryl put a deal together with the uh, the uh, Gateway Mustang folks and, and classic Mustang folks and they came to us with the idea and we blessed it. We say hey, we're all over this thing. We want to we want to make this happen and uh, you guys put the car together and we'll sell it. And Daryl didn't know the lot number until I announced it here tonight. Uh, today I just got a call from Steve Davis not 15 minutes ago. He just put it on the docket. So it, it came about because of the people involved in this including Ford Racing. I mean everybody that's up on that on this banner board, this sponsor board, contributed something and not only in dollars but in love and hours to make this happen. It's an amazing thing when, when, when the, the power of synergy is incredible and it's come together in this car. Now we just need to raise the money and get, let it go to Daryl Gwynn's foundation. All right, now Gary, you announced, uh, you said that Steve announced the lot number. This is a lot number that will be part of the Barrett Jackson January auction at Westworld in Scottsdale, Arizona, celebrating 40 years. 40 years. And uh, it's going to be lot number 962. It's going to be sold on Friday afternoon 
It's going to be covered by Speed and anybody else that wants to be there and watch it happen in real life. And 40 years in this business is amazing. We couldn't be more proud.